we've done complex numbers in Minecraft, and now it's time to do quaternions. This is still a rough draft, so to speak, but it actually works. This machine can perform any three-dimensional rotation on a set of like spatially placed uh, armor stands. Then we can pick which axis even we want our shape to rotate along. Right now I just have X, Y, and Z axis, but you could have it also rotate around some like weird diagonal axis if you wanted to. I just haven't coded that up yet. But here we should be able to, yeah, actually create a second ring. Okay. There we go. And now one last circle. Okay, so let me pause this thing here. You can see, interestingly, as this thing rotates, the armor stands kind of actually depart from a perfect circle. And that's largely because of rounding error, because I'm actually only using 10-bit precision instead of, you know, normal, like, 32-bit or whatever precision. I won't go into the details of how the quaternion math here work, but one thing that was interesting about scaling this up from two-dimensional rotations to 3D is that it required way more command blocks. And so to make sure I actually got all the scoreboard commands correct, I made this. So this is a Python library where... <laughs> so for this project, I actually coded up uh, a symbolic algebra system from scratch, which was really overkill because you can do the same thing with Sage Math in like five minutes. But what I do is I take, you know, the expression of quaternions and all the fancy algebra that gets you 3D rotations, generate a polynomial expression for the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate of an armor stand after being rotated, and then convert that polynomial to a series of scoreboard commands executed per armor stand. And then I copied and pasted all these commands into the game. And after some debugging, everything worked just fine. So we're using quaternions implemented in scoreboard arithmetic in Minecraft to perform rotations of invisible armor stands that are wearing emerald blocks on their heads. So if you didn't know, quaternions very oddly are a four dimensional number system that allows you to perform three dimensional rotation computations relatively easily. I'm reading this book about them right now and have been trying to code up some of what I've been learning in Minecraft. Dude, I look so tired in these videos. <laughs> I haven't slept much the last two nights, largely because I've just been working on this project, but I am really happy with how this is turning out. If all goes well, I will be able to use these visualizations to show some really cool higher math, but that'll be for a later video. I should take a nap after this. That's all the progress for this video. Uh, my name's Chris. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.